Imagine securing your family's financial future, generation after generation. That's what we're diving into today. Hi, I'm Antoinette Bone, estate planning, probate, guardianship, and asset protection planning attorney in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. Just remember, this video is for educational purposes only and does not create an attorney-client relationship. Please seek professional legal advice for your situation. Financial literacy and estate planning aren't just buzzwords. They are pillars of generational wealth. Today, we delve into how you can be the architect of your family's prosperous future, ensuring that your legacy thrives through your loved ones. While many of us strive to achieve financial independence, the path is often fraught with challenges. Misinformation, lack of access to resources, and hesitance to discuss finances openly can hinder our progress. But it's not just about us. It's about preparing the next generation. So how do we break these barriers and pass on a legacy of knowledge and wealth instead of a legacy of financial illiteracy and generational poverty? That's the challenge we're addressing today. Empowerment through education is key. Here are three crucial steps to fostering financial literacy and effective estate planning within your family. First, have open dialogue. Start conversations about finances early. Share your experiences, the good, the bad, and the ugly, to build trust and understanding. I hear too often from the children of deceased clients how their parents wouldn't discuss their finances with them while they were alive. They were told, it's none of your business. And I've heard from more than a few parents who typically haven't engaged in any estate planning that they do not want to tell their kids about their finances. Well, I'm going to tell you a secret. One way or another, your kids are going to find out about your finances. And I want to urge you to not have that be when you are dead. It's messy and time consuming when your family members are having to hunt for information related to what's in your estate. When you refuse to discuss financial matters, you foreclose the possibility of your family potentially having a solution to the problems that you may face. Even having a general idea about assets is better than knowing nothing for your family. Now, I know there are sometimes family members who can't be trusted who are always trying to take advantage and who think that they deserve something. Those are the ones who you should play it close to the vest with because those are the ones that will deplete your savings should you become incapacitated during your lifetime. Number two, education. Utilize resources, workshops, and courses to build a solid foundation. Knowledge is power and understanding the basics of financial management and estate planning is essential. As part of these resources, I have personally crafted an estate planning course designed to educate you on the basics and guide you toward more advanced planning strategies. Check the description below for the link to access the course. And the third is having a practical application of these things. Involve your family in financial planning activities. From budgeting exercises to estate planning meetings, make it a shared journey. Take time to develop a family mission statement. If you are a business owner and want to transfer that asset to your family as a continued wealth generation tool, or you want to sell and leave a sum of cash, you must start to plan early. Proper exit planning is absolutely a must for business owners. Don't leave your family in the situation of either not being able to sell your business at all or having to sell it for pennies on the dollar. Business owners, again, you must plan. And typically, if you're planning to exit your business, you need to do that, start doing that several years before your planned exit. But make sure you have insurance for death and disability. If you have partners, 
Make sure the terms of your partnership are in writing, as well as what is going to happen to your interest in the business if you die or become incapacitated. Now, I know it's easy to get a form from Google and try to do something on your own, but you probably don't have enough knowledge and information to draft an appropriate document. I urge you to seek professional legal advice. Let's commit to building and passing on legacies that last. If you're ready to take the first step towards financial empowerment for yourself and your loved ones, the Law Office of Antoinette Bone is here to assist. We provide concierge estate planning services in Texas, crafting plans that reflect your deepest intentions for your loved one's futures. Click the link below or call us at 817-476-8076 to schedule your strategy session. Together, we can create a lasting legacy of care and support. I'm Antoinette Bone, estate planning, probate, and guardianship and asset protection planning attorney in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. If you found this content useful and would like to see more like it, please subscribe to my page, like this video, and don't forget to tell your family and friends.